my fabulous scrappy friends it is jess here from the scrappy sisters and thank you for joining me for our family prompt for day number 13 13 we are joined today by the fabulous melissa vining she is a really good friend of mine she is so amazing she creates such beautiful beautiful collections she's got process videos over on her channel she is just ah the bee's knees she is on the coco vanilla studios design team she's on the hip kit club design team congratulations by the way uh she is just fabulous so definitely check out the description box below to check out her layout for this prompt and we're also joined by the equally fabulous and marvelous mari clark now, Mari has got a massive amount of different things over on her page. Of course, she's got process videos, but she's also a little bit of a card maker. So definitely pop on over to her channel so that you can see the other amazing things that she gets up to over there. And I can see cards and video process videos and also a little bit of stamping and mixed media over on her channel so definitely pop on over and check her out as well so two fabulous ladies joining us as our special guests for day number 13 and of course don't forget that laura alberts is our collaborator for this month so she is of course creating a scrap timber layout every single day of september so make sure you check her out too now, what am I doing with my layout, I hear you ask? Well, I have gone ahead and matted my photo up my paper. That pink spotty paper that's the main sort of background page is super, super thin. So I matted it on a, just a plain white cardstock. I just really wanted to add a little bit of bulk to it. And I also found when I was looking at it, it wasn't a true 12 by 12 size. So I went ahead and um, popped that down. Then... I am mostly using a Reject Shop collection, which is a Rosie Studio collection for this layout. And I really love the Rosie Studio, but I find the papers I get from the Reject Shop are a little bit on the thin side. So this collection is called, sorry, I'm ruffling because I want to make sure I give you the correct name. The papers I am using are... Does it tell me what it's called? Specialty cardstock, 20 sheets. Oh, I don't think it's got, I don't think it's got a name on it. That's not convenient. Oh dear. Okay. I don't know what the papers are that I'm using, but the embellishments that I am using, I do know. And they are from the Oh, Happy Day collection. Now, I don't think the papers are also Oh, Happy Day. I think they may be a different collection, but they match well and they suit what is going on. So, um, I have a big 12 by 12 paper pad, but it does not have a title on it. So I'm sorry about that, that I don't know the exact name of the paper pad. So I went ahead and cut three different pattern paper blocks. I did not measure them. I just kind of winged it and cut them, cut them out. They're about three inches wide, I would say, by looking at the page. Um, and then as you can see, I put some twine around two of them just to add a little pop of white there. And then I'm just having a play with the embellishments that I've got. Now I'm almost completely out of these embellishments. Um, so I really want to use as many of them as I can because I'd really love to finish, uh, finish that collection. I'll have heaps of paper left, but we can always use paper. But I'd really love to sort of finish that collection off and have that out of my stash. Um, so I'm just doing a whole bunch of layers underneath my photos here. I've got three photos. There's going to be one photo in the bottom of each of my different pattern paper, um, blocks or almost like a grid layout. I think you could say this is, but not quite. Um, and then I'm going to do one little cluster next to each of the three photos. Um, sort of overlapping each other. 
I am going to keep the window and the bunting up the top, but the title is going to change. I wanted to do something with that word best, but I just couldn't get it to work with the rest of what was happening with my title. So that is going to change. Um, a lot of my embellishment cluster needs to be a mix of both pat, um, stuck flat and stuck up on foam because my photo is stuck up on foam. Um, I did go ahead off screen and stick the bunting to the thread to the twine all on the back side just so it made one big real almost like a real bunting actually if I hold hold the string it will hang uh, and I'm just going to adhere that to my page with wet glue because I wanted to make sure I really got it in the correct positioning so just popping all that down there pop 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 and then the rest of that string, I'm just going to pop it over to the back side of the page and adhere it with a little bit of sticky tape. Um, I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to finish that off, but I thought if I cut it really close to the edge of the page, it might just start to un like fray, unwind. So I decided my best option was to um, put it over onto the back of the page and sticky tape it down. Just popping on some Hardy Swap Color Shine because I love that and you can see that I've changed my title, Family Love. They are just from an Amy Tangerine, really old thicker sheet. Uh, they come like that. I didn't use two different designs or fonts or whatever. They are, they are two different <laughs> designs and fonts but that's how it came on the thicker sheet. Um, and that's it and I love it. I think it works really really well. I think I just love the amount of different pattern papers are on this. It's really unusual for me and I think it's just a really gorgeous layout reminder of my beautiful little family. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check that description box down below and hop on over to our other friends this week uh, and we'll see you tomorrow.